The next field phone we're going to talk about is a Czechoslovakian TP25. Uh, this phone was made in the 50s, as you can see. It's got the Bakelite case, a uh, nice carrying handle. The strap's got a hook on it to hang the handset on. It is probably the closest example of a German FF33 phone that exists today. It's got a lot of the same features. This is where you would plug in your patch cord. It's got the patch cords in there. Ringer output. Uh, the magneto, the hand crank, goes plugs right in there to that little spot right there. I'm going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the carry strap. It makes it a little bit easier to, to, to work with it when it's not in the way. Maybe. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and open it up. And there you go. A uh, handset with a uh, push to talk on it. It uses a, uh, a cloth cord like some of the other phones because it works better in cold weather. <clears throat> Patch cord, so you can patch two phones together, like I described with the other German phone. Uh, hand crank is kept right here. You go ahead and flip the piece over and install it here in the end. There we go. It's also got an interesting thing. I don't know if this is you can see this or not, but it actually says in Czechoslovakian, "Be careful, the enemy is listening." That's what this inscription right there reads. Like I said, this is pretty much it. Handset right here. It was designed uh, like the FF33 and the other Soviet series of TA43 to use a big dry cell battery to power it. But, because you can't find those anymore, I went ahead and got a uh, single D cell battery holder right here. Got this off of eBay and it works great. Put that back inside there like that. <clears throat> And we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll work it. Um, last time it's good to check, make sure you have side tone, have batteries in it. Um, this is the binding post on it. It's just a push button. This only operates in the local battery mode. There's no capability on it to end a hand dialer or run in a common battery mode. It's got the test button here. If we were to short these two terminals together and push the button and crank the hand crank, it would check the ringer inside here which allows you to verify that your crank magneto is operating and that your ringer is working. Like I said earlier in some other videos, these will interface with all the, the phones I had on the uh, table at the beginning of this, this video, the Russian and the Eastern European phones. It will also work with NATO phones and that's what we're going to demonstrate right here. I'm going to take it, hook it up to a TA312 and we'll go ahead and make some phone calls. Like the other phones, it was also designed to be used uh, with the uh, handset kept outside the case and it's got the, the rubber seal on the end of it, just like the, uh, the German OV BB series did, just like that. There you go, and the handset then rests across top like this. has little protrusions to keep the PTT from being jammed on and, and running your batteries down. Okay, now we're connected. We'll go ahead and bring the 312. There's the ring. Not a real loud ring on it. There's no ring adjustment on it, so that's basically what it is, but it's a good uh, ruggedized ringer. And this is the uh, Czechoslovakian TP25 sealed phone.